check your shower head to see how much water it uses. Um, it'll generally say one or two gallons per minute and that'll let you know how much water is used every minute of your shower. If you want to get clean at the end of the night, but you didn't really get that dirty, why don't you save 10 to 20 gallons of water and use wipes to clean yourself? Just as refreshing. Instead of using Kleenex or toilet paper to blow your nose, why don't you make hickeys? Um, they're reusable, they will save tissues from the landfills, uh, save you money too. These ones are actually just upcycled t-shirt. They're not uh, pomp and circumstance too fancy with initials, but they do the job. If there's something you eat a lot of, why don't you buy in bulk? It'll save plastic from packaging, it'll probably save you money, and it'll save you trips to the grocery store. If you go and buy bulk at the grocery store or the co-op, um, why don't you bring your own Tupperware? Then you don't have to use the plastic that they have there, and that'll save garbage. Um, just make sure that you measure how much this weighs and let them know at the checkout, so that way they don't charge you for the weight of the container. Try and make sure you have full loads before you do a load of laundry. Um, that way um, you're not wasting as much water. Also, um, you can try and have full loads of laundry. Try and space them out as long as possible. So that way uh, it's so easy just to be like, well, I've got time, I'm gonna do a load of laundry. But you can save water if you take time between loads. Instead of using your car to get around, you can walk or use your bicycle. Or there's always public transportation. Use plastic bags that you get from the grocery store to pick up garbage at your house. You don't need to buy extra plastic bags um, when you've got them just laying around. Also, you could use um, the ones that you get, or you could also use food packaging, um, because a lot of food comes in plastic. Might as well make use of it as a bag. Use more environmentally friendly and natural cleaners um, instead of those harsh chemicals. Vinegar works well around the house. Instead of using disposables like paper towels and wipes to clean around the house, uh, you can go by the, the old standby of using towels. It's just more environmentally conscious. I know I like the wipes too. It's, these are good. If you've got a t-shirt that's starting to get old and kind of holy, you can go ahead and reuse those and you can make uh, washcloths, you can make hankies, or you can repurpose them and keep the good parts and make pillows or miscellaneous things around the house. You can use energy efficient light bulbs um, like these here. Um, they'll generally have um, some sort of label on them that'll let you know that they are energy efficient. Um, I know I actually got them. I reached out to my local uh, electric company to do an energy audit, a free energy audit. And they came to my house, um, they looked at my electric bill, they broke it down for me. Uh, we kind of talked about strategies for what my electrical usage was, where it was probably coming from, how we could improve it. And they have an education budget. So they had all sorts of gadgets that um, are more energy efficient and they just gave them to me for free. So they, they replaced every single light bulb in my house with the most energy efficient ones that they had available. Um, they offered to replace my shower head. They gave me a shower timer so I could cut down my showers to about five minutes. They also gave me a free power strip, uh, and this one uh, is Simply Conserve. Um, it turns off um, the miscellaneous um, things that are connected to your TV. That way they're not running when your TV is off, and that'll save you electric. You can wash and reuse plastic cutlery and straws. Otherwise, you can go ahead and bring your own. I know I, I haven't um, shelled out money for any reusable straws, but a lot of uh, like water bottles and cups will come with plastic straws. So you can just take those off and bring those. Tupperware over plastic wrap or tin foil. Look at menu options that don't involve the big electric items like this right here. Um, there are a lot of options out there that you don't need to use electric for. So a lot of good food, check it out. Use reusable bags when you go shopping. Donate the things you don't use anymore to uh, local thrift stores. Uh, also, if you're looking for something cheap, why don't you shop at local thrift stores? Because then you can get things for very cheap that are in relatively good condition that'll probably do you right for whatever you need them for. If you're taking the car to do errands, try and do a bunch of them together at the same time so that way you're not making multiple trips and plan them out in order so that way it cuts down on drive time as well as gas. If you need to go here, then here, then here, don't go here, here, and here. It'll just be easier if you plan it out a little bit more. It'll save on gas, which means it'll save on money too. Try putting something to displace the water in your toilet tank. Um, that'll keep it from using more water every time you flush. Try line drying your clothes instead of using a dryer. Um, on a nice day, it just takes about an hour more and it'll save a lot of electric. 
If you've got nice boots, but they get wet on the inside, you know they're gonna stink. So an idea is to put them on their side like this when they're drying. So that way it's got constant air currents flowing in and back out, um, up and down. It's less likely to get that airflow in and out. Um, so keep them on their sides like this when they're drying. Might save the lifespan of your boots. Try having your own food garden. Reduce the amount of things that you have or the amount of things that you want. Um, it'll be less to dust and you really don't need them anyway. You can look into rental options or you can share with friends.